DC Mayor Vincent Gray has a pointed message for Congress. You should be taking lessons from us. The mayor today declared all city workers essential. Now that's because the looming shutdown of the federal government requires DC to send all of its workers home except those deemed essential. Stephen Gita picks up the story from the Capitol for us tonight. Stephen. Autry, in what is an unprecedented show of defiance, Mayor Vincent Gray says even if the federal government shuts down, he will keep the city open. The budget standoff threatens to shutter the federal government. Since the feds must sign off on the city spending, D.C. may fall victim to the paralysis plaguing Capitol Hill. I guess it doesn't sound right. It sounds pretty wrong. Closure would abruptly end an array of operations. Only those deemed essential previously, such as firefighters and police, would remain on the payroll. But Mayor Vincent Gray sent a letter to the Federal Office of Management and Budget stating, I have determined that everything the district government does, protecting the health, safety, and welfare of our residents and visitors, is essential. I think the mayor did what he needs to do. Ed Bailey's bar needs to renew its liquor license October 1st. He is worried right now. Well, does that mean things are going to be put off? Are renewals not going to happen? Are they going to happen? It's all up in the air. Gray is especially annoyed since the city's finances are sound. His letter went on to say, Congress can't even get its own fiscal house in order. They should be taking lessons from us. Meanwhile, the shutdown could affect people around the world who tap into animal cameras and the panda cam at the National Zoo, mostly to see the baby panda grow up. In a shutdown, all those cameras may go dark. It's, it's a, a political game that everyone who lives here has to deal with every day. Now, there are questions about what the mayor is proposing is legal or not. And there are also concerns about by taking this action, the mayor could be setting himself and the city up for reprisals from Congress. Reporting live, Stephen Cheetah, ABC 7 News.